Hey guys, it's Matt with bleepingjeep.com and uh, we're working here on the zombie jeep getting ready for the zombie apocalypse and uh, I'm pretty sure zombies are attracted to chrome so we're gonna black out uh, the chrome which means getting rid of this mirror so the first thing that we need to do is take it off somebody's coming Sorry, I had to take care of a zombie. I told you they were attracted to chrome. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the whole mirror and replace it with another one. But even if you just need to fix your mirror, uh, this video might be helpful for you because I'm sure most of your mirrors look like that. So let's get started. But first, check out my website, bleepingjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. We've got hats and t-shirts, muffler bearings, flux capacitors, discount coupon codes, and more. So check that out, bleepingjeep.com. Do subscribe right here to the YouTube channel and check out the Facebook page as well. All right, so if your mirrors are just wobbly and you just want to fix that, what you can do is uh, every time I'm Every time I'm at the junkyard, I look for these, and if I uh, see one that's good, I'll snag it. And what you can do is just uh, clip it at the bottom right there, and then you can uh, unscrew it and pull it off of here. So all you have to do to fix it then is just to hold this back, unscrew this side, hold it the other way, unscrew that side, take that piece out, and then you know separate this put it back on screw that one down and then you've got a new clip and it'll clip in there just fine now if you need to take it off that's going to be a little trickier the first thing you want to do is remove the interior paneling here I've got a video on that and then that will allow us to get over here so it can remove the whole assembly alright so now there's a screw right here And there's also a tiny little two millimeter Allen head at the bottom right here. Uh, it's kind of hidden. So more than likely somebody's already loosened this and not uh, tightened it back down. But just uh, you just want to make sure. All right, now you should be able to take that off and push this out. There we go. All right, now we can come in here with the T30 Torx and take the mirror off. Uh, there should be three screws in here, one of which is missing. And now you should be able to pull the mirror out. There's a couple of parts here. There's this rubber isolator right here. And then there's a grommet right here. So you want to make sure that you Pull that grommet out and don't rip it. There it is. Alright guys, now let me show you how to open one of these up. There's three different kinds of mirrors as far as I know. This is um, one where you can move it by adjusting from the inside this little knob. This one doesn't work, but I think we can fix that. Then there's this one here which is just manual. You have to roll the window down, stick your arm out, and move it. And then there was an uh, electronic one, electric one. So I'm going to use this uh, shell because it's black and I'm going to use all the internals from this one. So to do that we need to open it up and to do that we need to remove the mirror. Now you don't want to pull the whole thing out including the backing. You just want to remove the mirror and leave that black piece right there. So let's see if I can do that without breaking it. Nope, I cannot. All right, well the um, one that I did on the driver side, the mirror just pried off really easily. Looks like there was some tougher glue on here. So I'll either need to buy another mirror or I can use this one over here if I can get this one out without breaking it. I think I'll try a heat gun on that side. But you do have to get that mirror off of there before you can unscrew because your screw gun has to go down into these holes behind the mirror. Uh, 
there. I use that heat gun to heat it up. Now I just have to have the patience to uh, take my time, not crack it. Oh, that sucker's hot. All right, so with some patience and a heat gun, you can take a mirror off of one of these suckers. Uh, unfortunately, I melted that, but uh, the good news is that we are just taking that mirror and putting it over here anyway with the internals from this and the black exterior from this. Uh, we're not going to use that part. All right, so back to this chrome one. What I'm going to do is uh, take everything apart Separate it into all the pieces, and then I'll just put it back together with the pieces that I need. Alright guys, so I've got them all broken down into all the pieces that I need to. And I can start swapping over, but I found a problem here. I didn't have this problem on the driver's side, but on this passenger side here, um, where the mirror bolts down into there, on this chrome one, uh, these two mounts right here are about a half inch lower than on this side, on the black one. Um, everything else looks the same except for that, so I'm thinking if I can cut that off just a half inch here and here, then I can still make this work. Alright, so it looks like that's going to work. So now what I'm going to do is take this to the sink and wash it up real good. I'm also going to oil um, this right here. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it other than it's just kind of sticky. So I think some oil will help fix that. Alright guys, now here's all the parts. Let's see if I can put it together in the correct order. Alright guys, check it out. Now all I need to do is find what kind of glue I should use to glue that onto there. Since I don't have that, I'm going to go ahead and install it for right now without the mirror back into the Jeep. Jesus, these things suck. Alright, now I'll put this back on. It's kind of keyed to go the right way only. So that's it there. Then I'll tighten it down. Alright, now this just... Uh, pivots and actually uh, snaps into place. It's supposed to snap anyway. And then uh, the little screw at the bottom. There we go. Alright, so I did some reading online and I think the consensus was that you should use RTV 
or you should use a clear silicone or some kind of trim adhesive to put this mirror back on. Uh, what I've got right here is um, gutter sealant and this should stay flexible. What you want it to do is stay flexible so that it doesn't vibrate off. Uh, I think this will work pretty good. I'm going to put some on the mirror here. Now I'll just tape it in place while it dries. Got a little sponge on there to, uh, because that's inset, so I put a sponge on there to, to push it down in there. Alright guys, so check that out. It's a little blue still, but uh, once I let that dry and take the tape off, the zombies won't be attracted to that chrome anymore. Okay guys, I hope you learned something there. I want to thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and supporting the Bleep and Jeep channel. Now we've got a few options for you. First of all, these videos can be costly and take a lot of time to do. And if you want to contribute, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, the option for that is right over there. Also, we'd love for you to check out the t-shirt store. The link for that is right down there. We've got these t-shirts, these t-shirts, this hat, and more at bleepandjeep.com slash store or that link. Also, we'd love for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That option is right below. It's free. You get updates via email every week when we upload a new video. Also, we'd love for you to check out the website, bleepandjeep.com, or click this link right here. We've got all kinds of off-road videos. We've got how-to videos, off-road parks, and discount coupon codes, and more. So check that out, bleepandjeep.com. All right, guys. Thank you very much for subscribing and supporting, and we'll see you in the next video.